Okay, so we're going to be replacing the PM 2.5 sensor. I'm not so aware. There's four screws. This part here, I believe, is the sensor we're after. I got a new one here from DigiKey. Check to make sure it's smaller here. Actually, I don't even know if I need to take those off. Let's tighten those back down. I think these can actually stay. Alright, so let's unplug the ribbon cable here, push down, a little wiggle, come out, and it looks like it's being held in. There's a retaining clip on the side here. Let's see if I can pull that back to be able to get this out. Huh, well, that was easy. Alright, we have the new one. Looks like it just snaps right into place here. Make sure it's going the right way. Yeah, okay. back in. Alright. That almost seems too easy, doesn't it? Alright, it's kind of interesting. Looks like there's a couple of other ports on here that could be used for expansion or other sensors. Kind of interesting to see how those are. But we're not going to mess up any of that. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll seat this back down. Look at that. Everything's happy now. This 92 is actually the same as uh, the score that I have on my other sensor. Quite similar. Well, there you have it. How to replace the particulate sensor on the Gen 1 Aware device. Pretty easy. Definitely recommend that. Uh, anyone don't even have to unscrew any of the components here's the old guy here these two screws stay on it just snaps into place unplug plug back in so perfect hope this is helpful